What's up you guys? So welcome back to another video. I thought we'd spice it up a little bit and we do a Q&A so that you guys can get to know me a little bit better. You guys have been asking me a lot of questions. I thought that I would answer your questions in a video. I know a lot of you have been wanting to know a little bit more about me. So yeah, I'm excited. Let's get into it. Now there were some out of, out of pocket. Oh, is that my baby? Hi, Papa. Is that my son? Hi, baby. Hi, Papa Cito. That's my baby. That's my baby. Come over here. Say hi to the vlog. Where are you doing, Mama? You give Mommy huggy. Come on, come on. Oh, oh, that's my baby. You give Mama huggy. That's my baby. Come, Mommy. Come here. So some of the questions are out of pocket, and if you guys, yeah, that's just we're just gonna ignore those. But um, I I got some really good questions, so I wanna just let's get into it. The first question is, of course, are you single? I am practicing self-love. I'll say that. Next. The next question is, what's the deal with all this online dating? Does anyone go out for coffee anymore? I do go out to coffee. Um, normally, I mean, I'm not sure what that means, but I also am cool with online dating, meaning potentially meeting someone online, which is the next question. But first, I'm going to answer this question. I do go out to coffee. Yes, I do. And um, I'm cool with that. I mean, majority of the time I do it if it's like a business meeting. But I would love, I love coffee. So if someone that was vibing and I was vibing and said, hey, like, let's go get a cup of coffee. I'd be like, okay, throw in a little muffin in there and I'm, I'm, I'm there. Um, but yeah, there's nothing wrong with that. But the next question is, how do you feel about online dating? And, you know, I really had a misconception about this for such a long time. A friend of mine actually convinced me to go on a dating app for a long time, a long time, long time, long time. And then I was just like, no, it's not for me. Because I thought it was like Tinder, where Tinder is just like, it's just like a place for people that want to do their dues and it's not a place for me because that's not what i'm looking for and i feel like hinge is a little bit different hinge is more like i guess hinge is a little bit more for people that have that may that want a relationship so and that's just my perception so anyway like my friend and a couple of my friends have con tried to convince me to get on the platform and i really put it off in the long run i mean hey like i ended up really vibing with somebody so it just really depends on you but i am not against it i have nothing i there's nothing wrong with it um i think it's great i had a really bad perception of online dating and like i thought it was like embarrassing but it's not embarrassing it's just we're so freaking busy and since the pandemic it's like we're not even able to like meet people the same way and i think there's a certain level to that online like you should facetime there's like you know you have to establish that connection but yeah, I don't think there's anything wrong with it. I think if you meet somebody and you vibe with somebody, just take precaution. Make sure they're real. Make sure you're not getting like catfish or anything. Um, the next question is, can you be my wife? And um, no, I cannot because I don't know you. But uh, the next question is, are you married? And um, no, I'm not married. And I'm just going to leave that right there. Next question is, what is your favorite subject? Huh. Well, my favorite subject, I've got to say, is like, write, like language art, like, like writing, any type of English writing, any kind, like I love writing. So it's just my thing. I love a really interesting topic. Shout out to like some of my friends. I've helped, yeah. You know, um, fun fact, you guys, we actually had to do an essay for our eighth grade ceremony. And for those of you who graduated with me, comment down below if you're watching this video and you remember. But I beat everyone in the essay competition and I actually got to read my essay during ring ceremony. I mean, I mean, yes, I did. So, you know, but that was like when I really noticed like, oh, okay, like I have a little gift here. So, yeah, I would say English, but I'm not the best. Like grammatically and like punctuations like i'm not the best at 
but I can write a bomb ass essay and then submit it to someone that's gonna like just clean it up a bit, you know? And make it like really make sense. But yes, I could definitely put a badass paper together. So holla vote dollar or a few dollars. Bruh. I'm just kidding. The next one is what is your favorite movie? And it's like, are you kidding me? How can I choose between all these like nostalgic movies that I grew up with? Like there are just so many. Like from like the Christmas movies, from like the movies that I, I watched as a kid. Like there's just so much from like Dennis the Menace to like The Notebook, A Walk to Remember, like hot chicks like there's just so many good movies so i i hate to pick one but i would definitely say it's definitely close to the notebook and a walk to remember those are like dear to my heart also whoa can't believe i almost left out jack because i love the titanic like that's right there that's me you know so that's that <laughs> all right so let's move on to the next question the next question is iPhone or Galaxy? I am iPhone gang. But you know what? I would be biased if I never had a Galaxy. But you guys, I used to say iPhone gang before I actually got a Galaxy and then I got a Galaxy and I was like feeling it for a while. But like, forgive me if I'm wrong or maybe I was like not doing it right. But the Galaxy that I had, it wasn't functioning correctly for like my real estate business. Like I need to like access my documents like on point. I need to like ding, 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 be able to send things. Like I need fast. And I feel like the Galaxy One, like you had to go to like downloads and then it would take so long to download a file. And then you had to like go and figure out where this freaking file is. And then like you had to click on it. And then it was just so inconvenient for my business that it was actually really starting to stress me out. And I was like, dude, I need to go get an iPhone like tomorrow, like tomorrow, because this is like, this is not happening, you know? But yeah, I guess like for my business and because I like, I need to like send documents a lot, get documents sent to me. I need to be on top of my transactions. It, it really was just not working for me, but maybe, I don't know, I don't wanna say no, but I'm gonna say iPhone. Um, next question is, do you have any pets? Yes, I do. I have a dog and I am now a cat mom. So I guess I am a cat mom and dog mom. This next question is, how tall are you? Five two, five three on a good day. You know, maybe five four, but don't tell anyone. Um, but yeah, my ID says five three. So I guess we could go with five three. Who is your celebrity crush? I mean, like, if you know me and you don't know this answer, shame on you. Shame on you. I don't know. Like, nah, yeah. That's like, yeah, this is it. I absolutely love The Weeknd. I love Abel. I love The Weeknd. Like, someone show this video to me, like, when I get the chance to, like, meet him. Because, honestly, I really just, like, feel like we could just chill and face, like, you know face and just like i could just like chill and vibe relate to his music so much oh my god you know what's so crazy i actually just looked through my i haven't been able to find my weekend pictures for such a long time i finally found my pictures from looking for so long literally like my ticket from that night you guys it was like 39 dollars like are you kidding me like what so i found my ticket i also found like pictures of the weekend like this is crazy i'm actually gonna put them on the screen for you guys like come on seriously i just really adore him as a musician as a singer like i think he's so good at what he does like he's such a talented artist um but shout out to chris one of my friends chris who actually put me on the weekend i remember he was like hey you want to come to this concert to the weekend and i'm like who's that is that a band but um next question the next one is how many siblings do you have i am one of four yeah one of four do you have any tattoos? I do have tattoos. I have... Uh, no, yeah, I have three. I have three. I have three. Three tattoos. Tea or coffee? Um, I am a coffee person right now. I would like to transition to a tea person. At some point, I did go through that phase. I think I do need a break. Um, I find myself drinking a lot of coffee these days. And as we know, there's no benefits to coffee so 
yeah, I need to slow my roll. So hoping we can transition to some tea. Okay, the next question I got is, do you want to go out on Friday? Um, I would, but I don't go out with strangers. So I guess like, no, but not in a mean way. No, it's like, no, I don't go out with strangers. I don't know you well enough yet, but yeah. Okay, the next one is, what is your ideal date night? This is actually pretty cool because my ideal date night is like, I'm not a difficult person. I don't need the wow factor. I just want spontaneous, creative, like fun. It could be a fun night. Like we don't have to do the typical dinner and a movie or like dinner and drinks or like, it doesn't have to be that. If it's that and we're vibing fine, but I'm not a club person. I'm like a little chill kind of like lounge person if anything Um, I don't want to like go to the bar all the time Like I, I want to do things that are fun. I think like it could be the simplest thing But yes as far as date nights go, I'm a very open Kind of person. I'm not too picky. I'm not picky you guys. All right next question is sweet and savory I've got to say damn. I like both Damn, I'm gonna pick Jeez I like them both, you know, like I just had a crepe, 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 I don't know, let me know how to pronounce it, but I just had a savory crepe, like it was so delicious, it had like crispy turkey bacon with like this aioli and chicken, like and it was so, it was so good, it was so good, I'm a foodie, if you guys don't know, I'm a foodie, and, and that, let me answer this next question, because this one right here says, what is your favorite meal, my favorite meal I love wings. I'm a wings kind of person. Never been, like, it's never changed yet, but I'm a wings kind of person, or I would say like a breaded chicken or like a pasta. Like, I don't know, I just, but yes, definitely wings. I can go for some wings. And now that I'm like trying to like really transition to this new lifestyle of like veganism, if that's not a word, I'm sorry, but like I wanna transition you guys for real, for real. So I've been really trying to like cook more and try to do like more chicken alternatives just try to just make my own vegan wings but yeah i'm a flats kind of person so the next question is what color are your eyes dark brown they're dark brown you you probably don't notice now but like in the light in the sun dark brown next question Ooh. What is your love language? You know, I'm actually learning this. I actually like this question because I'm learning my love language. I don't know. I would say some type of like affect or like affection. I don't need the, the material stuff. I'm more of like the doing, like you just have to like show me like that you're like into me and like you care about me. I think that's important. It doesn't have to be material, but just like, no, I don't know. I'm learning, but this is an interesting question because I'm actually really trying to identify like what my love language is. I definitely do like romance, so it's like, I don't know what my love language is, but thank you. I think in my next q and I will have an answer for you. Okay, so this one is, do you like to dance? Yes, I do. I could be in the dance floor by myself. Okay. What was the last time you cried? Um, probably my last period. Are you shy or outgoing? I would say that I am outgoing when I wanna be. Um, I don't always wanna socialize. I don't always wanna be around people. Sometimes I could be like an introvert. Like I'd rather be home than be out. But if I'm out, like I'm a social butterfly, if that makes sense. I don't know, I'm like very selective. So the next question is, what is your sign? I am a Leo. I'm not really too into horoscopes, but yes, I am a Leo. And if you guys want to tell me a little bit more about myself in the comments, by all means. I'm going to end it with this last question. What do you look for in a man or a husband? And I just want to say, I'm not looking for a man. Pardon? What are you looking for in a man now to wear this cologne? I'm not looking for a man. Let's start there. But I'm not looking for a man. Um, if a good man happens to come my way, I would say quality-wise, like a, the qualities of a man, I would just say like faithful, committed, mature. Um, I'm not the type of person where you have to like have your life figured out and be this like millionaire, but it's like you probably should have a good head on your shoulders and 
have some sort of ambition or some just goals and just be just work smart and hard and you don't have to have it figured out but I think just knowing that you are passionate about what you do and you love what you do and I think that means a lot so I guess someone that's like fun loving loyal committed and has a good head on their shoulders so well that was the last question you guys this was fun like I think we kind of got to know each other a little bit you know I left the spicy questions out because they were just out of pocket and I'm not gonna do that. Thank you so much for spending time with me. Um, I really enjoyed just kind of opening up to you guys a little bit. I'm glad that you guys got to ask me some questions. I thought I got some really good questions. This was so much fun. Thank you guys so much always for your support. I really enjoy making videos for you. I enjoy creating content for you. So if you enjoyed today's video, make sure that you give it a thumbs up and hit that notification bell so that you're always aware when I drop a video. And make sure that you subscribe and join the family. And I will see you guys in the next video.